taken along with. So today we are reviewing identifying proportions. Uh, again, this is content we've learned earlier this year, but we did not have it in our notebooks yet. Um, we don't need calculators or glue. All I need you to have right now is your notes and a pen or a pencil. We're going to read through the definition. In order to identify proportions, we have to know what proportions are. A proportion is an equation. I want you to highlight that word. A proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. Two quantities that form a proportion are proportional. This is going to look very much like equivalent fractions did when you all first started learning them. The difference is proportions are about ratios and ratios are comparing two quantities. But things that were true about equivalent fractions are also true about ratios when they are in proportion to each other. This is what a proportion looks like. It looks like two fractions or ratios equal to each other. This equal sign is here because it is an equation. This proportion is read 3 is to 5 as 6 is to 10. So 3 is to 5 it is as 6 is to 10 instead of 3 fifths is equal to 6 tenths. If these were equivalent fractions, we would say 3 fifths is equal to 6 tenths. But we're saying 3 is to 5 because it could be 3 apples to 5 oranges as six apples to 10 oranges, because we're comparing two quantities in each ratio versus just a fraction. So to determine whether two ratios form a proportion, we're gonna do a couple of examples. The first example we're looking at is 15 to nine and 10 to six. We're gonna compare the ratios in simplest form to see if they are a proportion. We have 15 over 9, and we've taken 15 and 9 and divided them by 3, because 3 is a common factor of both 15 and 9, and we end up with 5 over 3. For 10 over 6, it's being broken down by 10 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2, because 2 is the greatest common factor of 10 and 6, and it also reduces down to simplest form as 5 over 3, or 5 to 3. That means that the ratios are equivalent, because even though I divided by different amounts within each ratio, their simplest form matches. This one is 4 to 6 and 8 to 20. Notice 4 to 6 is being divided by 2 and it reduces down to two over three. Eight and 20 get divided by four, and that reduces down to two over five. That means that they are not equivalent because they don't match. I would like you to try to practice number one don't do number two yet, just one, two, and three, using this way of determining whether they are equivalent or whether they form a proportion. 